Empirical evidence refers to information that is acquired through observation, experimentation, or direct experience. It is grounded in measurable and observable data, which scientists and researchers use to test hypotheses and build theories. Unlike assumptions or abstract reasoning, empirical evidence relies on tangible proof gathered from the real world. For example, measuring the temperature of a substance during a chemical reaction provides empirical data that can support or refute scientific claims. Empirical evidence is a cornerstone of the scientific method. It ensures that knowledge is based on facts that can be verified, rather than opinions or beliefs. This type of evidence is collected through systematic methods such as experiments, surveys and observations. The process typically begins with a question or hypothesis. Researchers then design experiments to gather relevant data. By analysing the data, they draw conclusions that either confirm or challenge their original hypothesis. Because empirical evidence is repeatable and verifiable by others, it helps to create reliable and objective knowledge. For example, if a scientist hypothesises that plants grow faster under blue light, they would design an experiment to test this idea. By growing plants under different light conditions and measuring their growth, the scientist gathers empirical evidence. This evidence allows others to evaluate the hypothesis based on factual observations. Now let's look at some examples of empirical evidence in action. One example comes from medicine. Before approving a new medication, researchers conduct clinical trials where they observe how the drug affects participants. Data from these trials, such as changes in symptoms or side effects, provides empirical evidence about the medication's effectiveness and safety. Another example is in environmental science. To study climate change, scientists collect temperature records, analyse ice core samples and monitor carbon dioxide levels. These observations provide measurable data that reveal long-term trends in Earth's climate. In psychology, empirical evidence is often gathered through the experiments. For instance, researchers might test whether listening to music improves concentration by comparing the performance of two groups, one that listens to music while studying and another that does not. The results provide data to support or reject the hypothesis. Now let's look at some strengths of empirical evidence. One major strength is its reliability. Because empirical evidence is based on observable and measurable data, it can be independently verified by other researchers. This repeatability ensures that conclusions are not based on subjective opinions or isolated cases. Another strength is its objectivity. Empirical evidence relies on systematic methods designed to minimise personal biases. This allows researchers to draw conclusions that are based on facts rather than preconceived notions or emotions. Empirical evidence is also adaptable. As new data becomes available, previous conclusions can be re-evaluated and updated. This flexibility makes it a robust foundation for building and refining scientific knowledge. However, empirical evidence is not without its weaknesses. One limitation is that it can be influenced by errors in data collection or interpretation. For instance, faulty measuring instruments or incorrect analysis methods can lead to inaccurate conclusions. Another weakness is that empirical evidence may not capture the full complexity of certain phenomena. For example, human behaviour is influenced by many factors, some of which may be difficult to measure or observe directly. This can make it challenging to draw definitive conclusions. However, empirical evidence is not the same as anecdotal evidence. Anecdotal evidence consists of personal stories or isolated examples which may not represent the larger picture. While anecdotes can be compelling, they often lack the systematic approach and objectivity of empirical evidence. For example, someone might claim that a specific diet cured their headaches based on their personal experience. While this anecdote might be true for that individual, it does not prove the diet works for others. In contrast, empirical evidence would involve conducting a study with a large group of participants, measuring their results under controlled conditions, and analysing the data to draw conclusions. Anecdotal evidence is often subjective and prone to biases, 
while empirical evidence is designed to minimise these biases through rigorous methods. This distinction is important because decisions based solely on anecdotes can lead to errors or misconceptions. By relying on empirical evidence, we can ensure that our understanding and choices are based on reliable and reproducible facts.